My name is Warren Keelan from Wollongong on the southeast coast of Australia and I'm an ocean photographer. I'm passionate about the sea, the environment, and I love being immersed in the ocean every day. I picked up my first camera in 2010. Before that, I was a musician. I really love being creative. So I went from the sonic realm to the visual realm and the camera just allows me to open my mind and, and create. I fell in love with the ocean and its inhabitants from an early age. I took up surfing and I just found myself being attracted to the ocean. I loved everything about it. It's really become my place of therapy and it's a, it's a real spiritual realm that I just love to, to photograph. I wanted to create landscapes from within the sea, whether it be looking back at the beach or from within the vortex of a wave, just to give a different perspective. There are so many moments that go unseen. With the use of certain lenses, I'm able to capture the moments in between those moments, which include the fine details, the ripples, the bubbles, the flickers of light on the ocean surface. The gear that I use for my cameras, Aquatech Water Housing is the most reliable, durable piece of gear that allows me to just get in the water and shoot any conditions, and I don't have to worry about the safety of my equipment. For all of my camera equipment, I use timber. They're made very well, and the, the best thing about them is that they're waterproof. Most of my photography is shot in and around the ocean, so I need something that keeps my gear safe, dry, and protected. Not only can I fit all my gear in, they also fit on a plane, and I can travel anywhere in the world. What I love about these backpacks is they're durable, they're light, and very comfortable to use, and I don't have to worry about them. So long as I'm getting the shot, that's all I need to know. The ocean is such an ephemeral place. I really love the challenge of capturing something completely different, a new perspective, things that people just don't often see standing alongside the ocean. The goal of my work is to evoke thought. If an image is not apparent at first sight and the viewer has to sort of ponder and question what they're looking at, then I think I've done my job. One of the methods I use to capture these images is a slow shutter speed. By slowing down the shutter, I can pan with the wave and capture its movement and energy and all the striations and essentially paint a scene using a digital camera. After years of taking photos in the water and using the slow shutter, I just fell in love with the abstracts. I named the body of work, which I've been collecting for years, Motionscapes. And all it is is just a play on words, movement of water and seascape. Combine the two, Motionscapes. Shooting on the rocks or the beach, looking out to the ocean, there's a level of safety. You can sit there, you can have a cup of coffee. You know, it's, it's enjoyable and you can get pictures of what the ocean's doing and document the energy and everything, but nothing can come close to being inside or looking at a wave as it's curling over you. Put your camera up and focus in on one particular moment. Nothing beats that. For anyone looking to get into ocean photography, my advice would be spend a lot of time, as much as you can, at the ocean side. Study the ocean, see how the light plays with the water. Most importantly, try to look at what the ocean provides you in terms of canvas and creativity. If you can get a camera and shoot the ocean from the shoreline, fantastic. Better still, get into the water to completely change your perspective. But the best thing about being in the water is being in the water. <laughs>